Yo, 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 it's your boy Marcus Scott, aka the Caramel Poppy, and this is Caramel Poppy Game and Hold Up. Now, I just got some news. Cyberpunk 2077 is getting some new DLC starting in early 2021. Man, I don't even know what to say at this point. I just feel like everyone's saying that they're moving too fast, they're moving too soon. Here's my take on it, man. Okay. This is part of damage control. I'm pretty sure the DLC was already slated for early 2021, but and we already knew that the DLC was free, but the whole like the whole rollout of the game was good until people started getting, you know, the review copies and then the regular consumers started getting their copies. It was just a hot mess from the beginning to the end. And honestly speaking, this is probably the best way to, you know, damage control everything that just happened within the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's not much information. It's just the screenshot that I'm showing you. It just says free DLC hidden in a city early 2021. I don't know if it's going to be a full line of quests similar to how, you know, The Witcher had um, the DLC packs and stuff like that or like how Skyrim has you know the that vampire DLC pack I'm not sure if it's gonna be that close they might increase the levels hopefully probably introduce some new weapons probably some new areas because over in a city if you actually you know traverse through the land and stuff there's certain sections and areas where you can't enter and you know probably didn't get enough love during the main story so they probably might revisit those areas. You might get some new characters. But on the other hand, I don't think they're going to go too in-depth with this. Just off the simple fact that they couldn't get the base game to run properly. So I don't expect them to actually go all in with the DLC. I mean, I would like them to. But they got to get the base game fixed up first. And if the base game is not fixed up by the time... The DLC comes out, then it's kind of it's gonna be pointless to do a full blown expansion pack or something like that. So right now I'm just expecting maybe just some weapons, skins, probably new cars, probably just you know little improvements on life um, aspects of the game, but nothing too crazy because I do know they're gonna have microtransactions. I don't know if these microtransactions are going to come in the form of weapons or clothes or money. I, I don't know what their plans are. I'm hoping the way they do it is a free DLC that just improves the overall gaming experience. So that way every player is, you know, has the same current update of the game. And then people have the choice to buy the DLC or buy the expansion packs that goes in depth on either Johnny or V or probably go into different characters or, you know, explore some background on certain characters or certain things that happen in the cyberpunk world. Just, you know, because if you pick up the little um, magazines and newspapers around the world, it tells you about different events and situations that happen. So it would be nice to go back and experience some of that or probably meet bump into characters that knew something about a certain time before 2077 or probably like 2020 or something like that you know that would play into the overall game world but that's just my take it's a short little video today um i have more videos coming out on cyberpunk on builds and how to complete certain quests so make sure you stay tuned for that all right if you like the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe it's gonna help me a lot all right i hope you guys had a safe uh holiday happy new year's if i don't uh get to make or put out a video by then but hopefully i'll get a video out before new year's eve and yeah that's it man stay safe mask up